In the immortal words of Ratty in Wind in the Willows, Believe me, my young friend, there is nothing, absolutely nothing, half so much worth doing as simply messing about in boats. And that seems to be really quite true. From a regular rowboat to a supercharged jet ski, people will find a way to enjoy playing on the water, but there are always a few who take things just a bit too far. We've gathered together some of the weirdest and most wonderful water-based vessel inventions that people have made a reality, so without further ado, here are 20 crazy water vehicles on the next level. Number 20. Valhalla this 70-foot houseboat seems to have captured the attention of the tabloid press as it appears to have ticked some of the boxes for their very narrow notions of what makes something cool or interesting. This houseboat has been painted in matte black with simple brass fixtures and wooden interior, but to the press, that means that it is a James Bond-esque boat. I mean, really, the lack of imagination at the Daily Mail is nothing short of imbecilic. Anyways, this is a houseboat named Valhalla that was sold by its owners back in 2017 for the fairly substantial price tag of 225,000 pounds. The couple, named Alan and Joe Mason, had bought the vessel to spend their retirement chugging around Europe on the canals and such. But sadly though, when Alan received a cancer diagnosis, their plans were changed, and so they decided to sell up. Must have been a slow news day, but apparently if you paint a regular houseboat all black, it makes it into some kind of stealth boat. Here's a side note, I don't believe that this is the method that's used by military manufacturers, because if it is, we should probably keep quiet about it or everyone will be making all their vehicles invisible with a pot of black paint. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Zipper Boat so, here is a boat that is exactly what the name suggests. The boat is indeed shaped like a zipper fastener. The effect of this is obvious, isn't it? As it speeds through the water, its wake looks like an unzipped zipper. It's kinda cool. Is this the ultimate novelty transport? And what exactly would be the point of such a thing? It turns out that art might be the point of it. In 2020, this zipper fastener shaped boat made an appearance in an art installation in Design Art in Tokyo. It was the centerpiece of an installation that was titled Opening the River. Yeah, see what they did there? This also included a video presentation of the boat doing its thing and zipping up and down the river. It traveled daily between two places in Tokyo Bay and gave plenty of people an interesting view during a year that was otherwise fraught with stress and heavy with boredom. So that was nice, I should imagine. The boat was created by a Japanese designer named Yasuhiro Suzuki, and it's an art piece that resides under the shell of a zipper. Now, the artist got the idea while on an airplane looking out the window, noticing that a boat parts the water in a way that is reminiscent of a zipper opening and a piece of clothing flying open. So naturally, as an artist, he decided to turn this into a real-life object. Back in 2010, he debuted the small prototype of the zipper boat, and then modifications were made. He went back to the drawing board and came up with this much larger version. It measures 30 feet long and is split into two parts. The one half is where all the actual boat stuff happens, the other is just to accommodate all that zipper business. It is unique, if nothing else, though. Number 18. The A2V Shuttle Next up, we have another boring boat. Well, pardon me for being so rude, but here we are looking at a catamaran of some description. It's called the A2V Shuttle, apparently, and it's produced by a French company named Advanced Aerodynamic Vessels out of La Rochelle. It's capable of carrying up to 12 lucky passengers and still reaching speeds of about 50 knots, even when fully loaded. They also like to boast that all the passengers are able to enjoy the panoramic views as they speed across the water being all fabulous. The other big boast about this boat, 
a conçu un bateau. Is that the builders gleefully declare that this fancy vessel is super fast and extra posh, but it miraculously only uses half of the fuel to do anything as any other boat of the variety. It's clever stuff, I'm sure. Number 17. Rowboat 3. The Rowboat 3 is a boat robot. I mean, duh. That's to say that this is an autonomous watercraft project that has been developed by researchers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and the Amsterdam Institute for Advanced Metropolitan Solutions. It's part of a series of experiments that are aimed at exploring the potential of autonomous boats and their uses in urban waterways. Because, you know, all the people being employed to pilot boats, that's apparently not all that profitable. Rowboat 3 is a pretty big step towards the field of autonomous maritime transportation. These particular boats are designed to navigate and operate on the water ways in towns and cities, but also are being considered for a whole bunch of other uses in different sorts of places. They're equipped with advanced sensors, GPS cameras, and other technology, which allows them to navigate autonomously, avoid obstacles, and respond to real-time data. You know, like all the self-driving cars that definitely never malfunction or have any kind of massive accident. One of the main objectives of the rowboat project is to deal with various urban challenges like the tedium of traffic congestion and the poison of pollution. And this is accomplished by using existing waterways as efficient transport corridors. Rowboat 3 is being touted for use as an autonomous water taxi, a waterborne delivery vehicle, or adaptable platforms for various other urban-based services. These autonomous boats are also designed to work collaboratively, forming temporary structures and bridges that can adapt to the needs of specific situations. For instance, they could create temporary pathways across canals, or even assist with disaster relief efforts by rapidly adapting to changing scenarios. But there's a slightly unnerving thing about robots that are designed to work together. What if they decide to work together against us? Number 16. The Jet Cycle Max. Next up, we have a weird canoe slash bicycle for your perusal. This may be the mashup of some extra outdoorsy person's favorite activities, but it also looks kind of tiring to me, to be honest. It's true that this is a boat that's powered entirely by the person who's riding in it. Built from a bunch of composite materials, which are supposed to make the vessel extremely lightweight, but also nice and rigid, it alleges to be very comfortable, but I don't really know. Laying down in a canoe is one thing, but all of that pedaling doesn't really scream luxurious comfort to me. Oh, and it doesn't only float along the surface of the water either. The Jet Cycle Max is designed to allow you to literally lift off and fly along the surface. As it is a human-powered machine, the power that requires to take off varies from person to person, depending upon their weight. The heavier the individual, the more power they'll have to generate in order to take off. It's a fair bit of work, but at least the result is flying rather than, you know, at the gym where exercise is generally just resulting in sweaty humiliation. Number 15. The Sea Shadow IX-529. This boat is mostly just known as the Sea Shadow, and it's a legendary experimental stealth ship that was developed by the United States Navy in the 1980s. This vessel was designed for testing and advancing stealth technology on the water, much like the stealth aircraft programs that were underway at the same time. Stealth technology and being the best at it has been a fixation for all the superpowers since its invention. The Sea Shadow's most distinctive feature is its angular and faceted hull design, which was designed to minimize its radar cross-section. That means that it works to make it less visible to enemy radar ships. This experimental ship was super important in developing the stealthy ships and materials that are used in modern naval vessels like the Zumwalt-class destroyers. The Sea Shadow would be built by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division and had a fairly weird and unconventional appearance. It had sharply angled surfaces and dark gray color, and its twin hulls were separated by a central platform, giving it a catamaran-like configuration. Throughout its operational life, the Sea Shadow was completely shrouded in secrecy and only whispered about in top secret meetings, used primarily for testing and research purposes. In 2012, it would then be put up for auction and sold to a private individual. Since then, it's been sitting in a bay in California, though its exact status and condition may have changed over time. 
It also begs the question, who needs a stealth boat in their regular life anyways? Is this some James Bond villain or maybe some billionaire? Well, that's the same thing, really. Number 14. The VanCraft VQ-16 the VanCraft VQ-16 is a kind of hybrid watercraft that is a combo of a jet ski, but with all the stability and versatility of a luxury yacht tender. This vessel is designed to give its owners a bit of a thrill on the water, without having to do anything too dangerous or uncomfortable, or, heaven forbid, not luxurious. The VQ-16 has a boring, sleek, and modern design, with a so-called stylish and functional deck layout. It alleges to combine the agility of a jet ski with the stability of a rigid, inflatable boat. The vessel's compact size at 16 feet in length makes it really easy to maneuver and basic to handle, even in a tight space. You know, even some trust fund Wally can drive it, which is lucky because you know that's who's going to buy the thing. One of the biggest boasting points of this boat is that it has a powerful engine. It's equipped with a potent 1000cc Yamaha engine, allowing it to reach high speeds while also providing a thrill a minute, no doubt. Passengers can enjoy zipping across the water, taking sharp turns, and experiencing the excitement of a jet ski, if you happen to like that sort of thing. But if that all gets to be a bit too much for your delicate frat boy self, you can also transform your boat into a comfy old yacht tender. There is space for about five passengers, so you can bring a bunch of dopes with you and LOL about spending all of your inheritance on champagne and nonsense. Or, of course, you can simply use it to get back to your massively obscene mega yacht. Number 13. Race Bird While every super yacht in Monaco is definitely there to show off, there's always somebody who takes things just a bit further, and there's always someone who has to be a bigger show-off than all of the rest. The Race Bird is one of the current exhibitionists that's waggling its tail feathers at anyone who's passing the marina in Monaco. It's actually a single-seater electric powerboat, and it sports a pair of extremely lurid green hydrofoils that are designed to allow it to glide above the surface of the water at a high speed. The particular water vehicle is from E1, an invention of Alejandro Agag, a sports entrepreneur who is also behind electric motorsport Formula E. Anyways, he's invented some electric power boat idea for racing the waterways of the world, and reckons that a new and cleaner way of doing these things will be necessary in the future. So he's simply getting it underway now. And this is the alleged result. He plans to race these weird electric speed machines in places like Sydney Harbor, the canals of Venice, and Rio de Janeiro. Now I don't know, if we're really looking at taking care of the planet and such, do we actually still need stuff like powerboat races or Formula One anyway? And how eco-friendly really is it? Don't these machines and people participating in these events all need to be transported all over the globe? And is it really justifiable? Go ahead and lose your minds over this controversial suggestion in the comments section down below, because I know that you really want to. Number 12. Pro Boat Jet Stream the ProBoat Jetstream is a high-performance remote-controlled boat designed for enthusiasts and hobbyists who are passionate about radio-controlled watercraft. And which enthusiasts are not passionate, I may ask you? ProBoat Jetstream has a powerful jet propulsion system. Unlike traditional propeller-driven RC boats, this model uses a jet drive system which provides the boat a load of maneuverability while also reducing the risk of propeller damage in shallow water, a perennial problem in the world of minicraft. The jet drive system propels the boat forward by expelling water through a jet nozzle, creating both forward thrust and steering control. The jet stream has a sleek and hydrodynamic design, which enhances its performance and also adds to its visual appeal. That is very important when you're out to impress the other enthusiasts, you know. This water vehicle may be dinky, but it is also kind of fancy as well. Number 11. The Harley 3400 Electric Power Catamaran Well, lucky old S, we have another thrilling catamaran. I know we're totally spoiling you today here at the Fancy Banana. This is the Harley 3400 Electric Power Catamaran, which they claim represents a significant leap forward in the world of sustainable and eco-friendly marine transportation. The Harley 3400 has an electric power system, which provides silent and, more importantly, emissions-free cruising. Check out what we've done in here. 
and then make our way inside. This is a major step towards reducing the carbon footprint of marine travel while protecting fragile ecosystems. The electric propulsion not only claims to contribute to cleaner oceans, but also ensures a quieter and more peaceful onboard experience for passengers. And naturally, that's what really matters here. It's basically designed for all the regular schmoozing and view looking at that boating is known for, and also allows users to boast about being eco-conscious without ever having to sacrifice anything for their opulent and consumerist lifestyles. It's a win-win, more than likely. It has all the modern shiz you would expect it to have, you know, like advanced navigation systems and comfortable seating arrangements. It's well suited for various maritime experiences, which includes eco-tours, private charters, and transportation between coastal destinations. The fancy new world of so-called eco-tourism is only getting started, and there's so much more to exploit. Number 10. Galaxy of Happiness with a name like Galaxy of Happiness, it seems that this ship is likely making some very confident claims about its abilities. This is a super swankster luxury motor yacht, measuring in at 175 feet long, and it can accommodate up to six guests in three super fancy schmancy suites. The boat was delivered to its owner in 2016 and had been given a fully swished out interior by the Latvian design house Latitude Yachts. They like to give stuff a very luxurious look, apparently. And the vessel itself has some credentials that may or may not mean anything to you if you happen to like this sort of thing. The yacht was built with a composite hull and superstructure and teak decks. It's powered by twin diesel engines and can cruise most comfortably at 24 knots. Her maximum speed is 30 knots, and she has a range of 2,300 nautical miles on a full tank. Or tanks of fuel, if you like. She has freshwater tanks, which can hold around 5,000 liters of water, in case you're especially one thirsty sailor, one would assume. Number 9. The Looker 370 The Looker 370 glass-bottom boat is a marine vessel designed to provide passengers with an underwater viewing experience, and nobody even needs to get their feet wet. The Looker 370 includes a sizable glass panel on the boat's floor, this is the glass bottom bit of the boat, and these transparent sections allow passengers to peer directly into the world beneath the waves, revealing coral reefs, exotic fish, and other marine creatures in their natural habitat. This immersive experience makes the Looker 370 a popular choice for eco-tourism, marine education, and recreational activities. But despite the fact that this boat company makes it sound super cool and innovative, the notion of a glass-bottom boat has been around for, oh, about a hundred years. Long enough for there to have been a movie called The Glass-Bottom Boat. That starred Doris Day, and it was done in 1966. So it is hardly a marine-based revolution. It is pretty cool, though. I will concede to that much. Number 8. The Eon Explorer Next up is a really miniature version of a glass-bottom boat. It's a fiberglass-bodied vessel with a single propeller at the rear for propulsion, and there's a very simple dual joystick system used by its rider to steer and control the throttle. These mini-boats also have a solar panel on top, which adds to the battery life, and there are LED spotlights to illuminate beneath the boat at night. The creators claim that these boats are the future of eco-friendly tourism. Well, that is the buzzword right now, so of course they do and they've been busily selling them all over the show. They're available to visitors to the Big Island of Hawaii, although to be honest, I'm not really sure how they would fare against a shark or even a big wave, so it seems kind of slightly insane to me. Then again, what the heck do I know? Go ahead and let me know your thoughts and tell me exactly how much that I don't know about everything in the comments down below, because that's what it's there for after all. Number seven. The Sea Magin Aurora Submarine The Sea Magin Aurora Submarine is a cutting-edge submersible designed to offer underwater exploration experiences. This submarine features a spacious and pressurized cabin that can typically accommodate one pilot and two passengers, and that allows them to enjoy panoramic views of the underwater world through large acrylic viewing windows. The submersible's advanced engineering claims that passengers can explore the ocean's depths in comfort and safety. It's apparently capable of descending to varying degrees of depth depending on the model, 
and some versions can go to over 3,000 feet, meaning that its passengers can have a look at deep sea coral reefs, underwater caves, and exotic marine life habitats. These subs are used for marine research, ecotourism, and luxury underwater excursions. You know, science and then rich people stuff. Number 6. Tokyo Cruise Esmeraldas Next up, we have a fairly regular sort of maritime experience with Tokyo cruise ships. Hardly a thrill ride, these are the water bus operators in Tokyo, offering a bunch of different experiences, from regular commuter boats to a bit of a tour around the area. One of the most popular cruise routes takes passengers along Tokyo Bay, where they can soak in views of the Tokyo skyline, including all the standard landmarks like the Tokyo Tower, the Rainbow Bridge, and the futuristic Odaiba District. For those who including cherry blossom viewing cruises and seasonal light-up cruises, provide unique and enchanting experiences, especially during Japan's cherry blossom season and the year-end holiday season. It is very thrilling stuff. Number 5. The Inland LNG Carrier The Inland LNG Carrier is a specialized vessel that is designed for the transportation of natural gas within inland waterways and regions with restricted navigation conditions. These carriers are important for the distribution of LNG to areas that may not have a direct access to seaports or ocean-going LNG tankers. Now, I know the absolutely thrilling adventure here at the Fancy Banana seems to be endless, and I know how to have a good time. So, we'll have a look at these fascinating cargo vessels, because I also know that you can't wait any longer. The design of inland LNG carriers has to take into consideration the unique challenges that are posed in inland waterways, which includes more narrow channels, shallower depths, and varying river levels. These vessels are typically smaller and more maneuverable than their deep-sea counterparts, and that allows them to navigate through rivers, canals, and lakes with fewer difficulty. It's also necessary that they have a whole bunch of safety features, but with all the liquid gas they carry, and they also have to be super robust to avoid any kind of damage to the environment. But to anyone else, these are simply transportation vessels like any other. Number 4. The Ghost by Juliet Marine System as well as having the coolest sounding name, the Ghost is actually a crazy looking machine that has more in common with a spaceship than a regular old boat. The Juliet Marine Systems Ghost is actually a revolutionary maritime vessel designed for high speed and stealthy operations. It's a semi-submersible platform, combining elements of both surface ships and submersibles, and the design means that it can basically operate both above and below the water's surface, making it super stealthy indeed. The Ghost has a buoyant tubular hull, which partially submerges to reduce both its visible and radar signatures, and this makes it extremely challenging to detect by conventional means, which is really the whole point of stealth technology after all. The Ghost is designed for a whole bunch of different sorts of missions, you know, anti-submarine warfare, surveillance, reconnaissance, mine countermeasures and special operations, and its speed and agility, along with its ability to operate in shallow water, makes it well suited for maneuvering in challenging maritime environments. And it basically looks super badass all of the time. So even if it was spotted, it may just convince the enemy that it was an alien spacecraft anyways. Number 3. The Jet Shark Next up, we have a James Bond-style gadget of a vessel, and perhaps the most appropriate place for something this insane is in the fictional environment of a movie rather than in the reality of the ocean where it could encounter, I don't know, other vessels or sea creatures or people. And as we reveal the capabilities of this thing, just imagine for a moment a place with several of them leaping and diving and such like. How does that story really end? This is the Jet Shark, a machine that's literally designed to fly underwater. It sounds kind of crazy, but this is what the creators claim is now possible. These submersibles are supposed to be able to fly underwater and then leap out of said wet stuff before bouncing on the surface. 
which kind of sounds fun, really. Two-seater personal watercraft is created in the form of a shark, or perhaps more like a killer whale or dolphin, to be honest. But I guess they thought that shark sounded much more cool. It's powered by a Marine Corvette V8 engine, and it has wind doors, air conditioning, and leather-looking seats. All of the stuff that you would want in a boat. It also appears to float, which is probably the bare minimum. And this is currently only a prototype, and it probably needs to go through at least a few more safety tests before it can be busted out into the world for real. I don't know about you, but this has an ever so slightly whiff of dangerous about it, and not only because of its name either. Number 2. Gliss Speed Well, this is just what we've all been waiting for, a water go-kart. Yes, the Gliss Speed claims to be the world's very first nautical water go-kart, and to be honest, it just kind of looks like a jet ski. They claim that it's something way more fun and way more safe. In fact, the makers of this vessel also sell a track upon which these things can be positioned in the water so that they can be enjoyed in a limited area on a shared lake or another facility. They've apparently proven popular for French people on their holidays at many different destinations, and guess what? Yes, they claim that the Gliss Speed is totally eco-friendly and silent, and also perfect for all of that eco-tourism that everyone could possibly desire. Who would have ever believed it? Number 1. My Canoe Solo 2 Finally, we have a vessel for the individual who wants to spend some quality time with themselves, the My Canoe Solo 2. This is a portable folding canoe that's designed for solo paddlers and outdoor enthusiasts. And frankly, after all of these motorboats and weird vessels, some alone time is probably a good idea. This super compact and portable canoe is made from a durable marine-grade polypropylene material that's lightweight and easy to assemble. The canoe can be folded and unfolded quickly and without the need for tools, which makes it convenient for transport and storage when you just have to get out there and canoe and simply cannot wait. When folded, it goes into a portable case so that you can carry it on the bus for those last-minute solo canoe adventures. I know these things happen, it can't be helped, don't try to fight it. Despite its compact size and portability, this thing is said to be extra stable on the water, its hull is designed for a smooth and enjoyable paddling experience, and it boasts a comfortable and adjustable seat, ensuring the comfort during long outings when you just want to be all by yourself in your canoe. And that, my friend, is your business. Well, that's all from today's outing on the water. Which of these crazy water vehicles do you think were next level? Let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.